Hi sweeties, I'm Carmen V. Luciano and this is The Miscellaneous Vegan. Today I'm going to give you a detailed review of Cham Steiner. As you can guess from this clip, the diner is located in Brooklyn. What, 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 what? I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. When you enter the address into your GPS, it will lead you to the Brooklyn Bridge. Then towards the exit of Brooklyn Queens Expressway, Cadman Plaza West. Their website states parking can be tough, but you can find parking on the streets around the corners of the diner. If you're lucky, you can find it on the exact block. If you're taking the train, you would take the L or G train. Please visit Champ Steiner's website for more specific details, linked below. The location has a small outdoor closed space. Those who take public transportation use it as a waiting area. To the lower right of the screen, you will see the diner is graded in A. Yes! <laughs> Once you walk in, you will see the small space of the diner. If you didn't see my review on my Instagram page, the capacity for the diner is 50 people. Whenever I enter a location, I always need to use the restroom. I'm sure I'm not alone in this. As you can somewhat see from the video, both restrooms are gender neutral. I love this because us women have an option to use both. Ladies, you know how it is when it's only one female restroom and I'm not even going to get into this. Uh, ladies, you know the struggle. Let's quickly talk about the restrooms. As you can see, it seems to be designed to represent New York City subways in the 80s and early 90s with the graffiti and subway tiles. If you read my review on my Instagram page, this is the bathroom, the biggest one of the two, that has a changing table. Let's move on to the second restroom. Now this is the one for those bathroom selfies. It is completely covered in graffiti. Just look at it. Look! Wall to ceiling, ceiling to wall. The only thing I don't like is that you can clearly see the materials used to clean the restroom, like the plunger and sink bowl cleaner in both, and they do not have air fresheners. But moving back onto the walls. Just look at the walls. <laughs> Perfect! Cheese! Let's get to the real reason we're here. It's for the food. Oh, crrr. The menu has many typical diner options. Remember, this is a completely vegan restaurant. The menu has been changed, though. The old menu used to have a massive amount of burgers. Um, and they removed my favorite burger. I asked and they said they didn't know it was probably because of management or because people weren't ordering enough of it, but I feel like y'all need to bring the old menu back. Okay, champs, oh, crrr. For my fibroid and soy-free diet people, the only soy-free options are the French toast, the Belgian waffles, and the cauliflower wings. The wings are fried, so keep that in mind. And here they are. As I mentioned on my Instagram page, the color of the cauliflower wings was a bit off. However, it was delicious, crispy, and spicy. I love spice. So if you can't handle the heat, stay out of the cauliflower kitchen, sweetie. Here is my main course, named according to my best friend. The chimichurri chicken. <laughs> yes, this is the chimichurri chicken. It's $16. It has a lot of flavor. Everything was well seasoned. My best friend ordered the Cubano. She is not a vegan, but she said she enjoyed her meal. However, that it didn't taste like a Cubano. It tasted more like a Philly cheesesteak. Time for the best part, dessert. 
This is my first time ordering the birthday cake. That's what we ordered. Um, the ice cream was similar to a plain vanilla Italian icy, and the cake was similar to a yellow box cake, as I mentioned on my Instagram. It's enough for two people. The bill totaled at $70.77. We will both return, myself being a vegan and my best friend being a non-vegan. Please subscribe to enjoy more of these types of videos. And remember, be real, not perfect. Bye, sweeties.